So this question is asking us to name the IUPAC name for the compound below. And I've drawn the compound here. So the first thing we want to do when we have a question like this is to identify the groups in this compound. So here I see a C double bonded to an O. So this is a ketone group right here because it's attached to two carbons rather than an aldehyde where one would be a hydrogen. So I have a ketone group here. I also see an ether group here where there's a carbon attached to an oxygen to another carbon. So here's our ether group. And over here we have a cyclic alkane hydrocarbon group over here. So knowing that we have these three groups, we want to determine which one would have priority in naming. So you should also know the precedence of naming compounds. So ketone actually has the highest priority in here. So we know that our suffix will be, so the suffix for ketone is O-N-E, which we see in answer choice C. So in A, B, and D, we can see that we see O8, O-A-T-E as our suffix. And this is actually indicative of a carboxylic acid derivative, but we don't see anything like that in our structure. So already I can already cross out A, B, and D to know that C is the correct answer just by knowing that ketone has the highest priority in this name and that only answer choice C has the correct suffix. But let's just take a few steps to figure out how to figure out whether this whole name is correct. So now we want to name the principal chain. Our principal chain is right here and it comp is composed of four carbons. But now we have to figure out whether we want to name this side one or this side one. Now remember that you want to have the carbon in the ketone to have the lowest number. So that means we want to name it like so. Because if we named it one over here, we would have this carbon as a three, but two is lower than three. So we would want to name it this way. And this is corresponding to answer choice C because here I see butane, which is four carbons. And this is, this two here is telling us that the carbon in the ketone is at position number two, so this is correct. Now we want to identify the substituents and give it their full names. So here let's look at our ether group. So we have an O and two carbons, and you should know that this is an ethoxy group. So here we have an ethoxy group, and this is telling me that it's at position number four which is also corresponding to our answer choice here. Now looking over here at position one, we have our cyclic alkane. And in this cyclic alkane, we also have a propyl group here. And now we wanna name the cyclic alkane so that it gets a number. So we're gonna name this one, two, three, and four. So our propyl group is at position number four, just like our answer choice. And cyclohexyl just means it's cyclo, so it's cyclic. And hex means six, so there's actually six carbons in this ring. And that gives us our whole answer, four ethoxy, four ethoxy, one, at position one, four propyl, four propyl, cyclohexyl, butan, so we have our principal chain has four carbons, two, meaning our ketone carbon is at position number two. O-N-E demonstrates that we have a ketone in the structure. And so C is our correct answer in naming this whole compound.